So in this video, me and the cat, Rodrigo, we'll talk about my favorite lenses for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. Wow, what a mouthful, right? That's what I thought. So the most used lens on my body is, that sounds weird. The most used lens on my camera is definitely by far the Sigma 18 to 35. What are you doing? You going? Okay is definitely the Sigma 18 to 35 1.8. This is a Canon EF mount lens. So I use this with a speed booster, but I'll get to that in a bit. So this lens is basically my main lens for everything. For all the documentary stuff I shoot, as well as YouTube videos, um, this lens is, is, is just amazing for that. The thing I like most about it is that you can change the focal length without changing the weight um, of the lens so it means you can use this on a gimbal and it still stays balanced whenever you shift from for example 35 to 24 or 18. The only thing I don't really like about it is whenever you're at 18 and your focus is infinite or infinity I'm not sure and you go to for example 35 millimeter your focus changes a little bit so you have to adjust the focus ring slightly to get focus again. So that's one thing I don't really like. Then the thing I use with this lens basically always is a variable ND filter. And there are a lot of ND filters out there, but the one that I like most is the KNF Concept Slim Fader Nano X HD ND. So the reason I like this variable ND so much is it has hard stops, so you cannot go further than a particular point. And also when you're at the maximum darkness, I would say there is no cross or vignetting in the corners. And that is a really like good thing for a ND filter. And the best thing about it, it only costs about 50 euros. So that's definitely a keeper. Then going to the second lens I use is the Panasonic Lumix 100 by 300 f4 to 5.6. This lens is a native micro four thirds lens, which means you can put it on the body of the Blackmagic straight away without any filter or adapter. Um, and because it's a micro four thirds sensor, the equivalent of this will go from 100 to 300 to approximately 200 to 600, which is insane. And then Probably the most impressive thing about this lens is it has image stabilization. It is super lightweight and it does the job. And the good thing for me is that I travel a lot with my gear, especially by foot. For example, we've done a six hour hike up the mountain with split boards on um, and I brought all my camera gear and it's just nice to travel light. The image quality is quite good. I don't really like it at 300. It gets a little bit soft around the edges, but still, I mean, you can't really expect anything that good for that money. But the only thing that I really do not like about this lens is the fact that whenever you're zoomed in all the way or halfway, um, it's really difficult to find focus because the focus ring is kind of weird. It is not really responding well. So sometimes it's, you know, changing the focus really quickly and sometimes it does not change the focus at all. So it's, I don't know, kind of weird. Still, for the price, it's a great lens and it's amazing for, um, yeah, video work especially. Um, I think it will work fine for photos too, but still for video work, I love it. Then the third lens and fourth lens basically, because the fourth lens is on the body right now, is a 50 millimeter and a 28 millimeter Canon FD lens. Together with a KNF concept adapter, um, it cost me about 70 euros in total for these two lenses with an adapter. That is insane. I mean, it's super cheap. And these lenses just have that, I don't know, they have something on them that just looks amazing. It's, it's, it's I don't know, it's just nice. They work pretty well. Um, the image quality is not superb, of course. It's kind of soft around the edges. And I feel like uh, at f4, it's the sharpest but you need to, to check that for yourself. So last but not least, the Filtrox Speed Booster. Well, 
I used the Viltrox EFM2 Mark II 0.71x speed booster. What a speed booster exactly does, you can find it on Google for sure. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but I use this one in particular mainly because it is super cheap. So you basically have a lot of options out there, but there's only two that really stand out, and that is either the Metabone Speed Booster or the Viltrox Speed Booster. And the Viltrox Speed Booster is just, it just works. And the video quality that comes out of this thing, together with the lens, of course, is amazing. I tested it with a friend um, who has the Metabone Speed Booster, and you could not see any quality. Anyone out there that does say you can see quality difference, yeah, no, it's not true. The only thing that is a difference is the build quality. Having this thing on my camera with the heavy 18 to 35 gives a little bit of jiggling and wiggling, um, and the Metabones does not have that. But if that is worth 550 euros on top of the 150 that, you know, the fill trucks costs, I don't know. Not sure. Uh, you can decide for yourself. Even if I would have 10 grand right now and I have to make the choice if I would buy a Metabones or a Filtrox one, I will go for the Filtrox. So, that sums up my kit, basically, like all the lenses I use for my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. Oh, man, nice. Um, if you have any questions regarding the lenses or just any questions in general, please leave them down in the description below. Um, I'll answer any question, uh, so that's, uh, you know, covered. Um, yeah, please subscribe to my channel. I keep on saying it and definitely like this video so it can reach a broader audience. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace. And um, yeah, the cat says meow. So, cool. Okay.